deployment of robots in British waters. The small fleet of unmanned craft will gather data on just about everything, from the state of the water to the positions of dolphins and other wildlife. Robots are seen as a potentially cheap and easy way to research vast areas of the sea. Our science editor, David Chuckman, reports from the Isles of Scilly, where the robots are being released. To commence the uh, vehicle checks, over. Early morning on the Isles of Scilly, and an extraordinary operation is unfolding. This lineup of gleaming high technology is part of a new generation of ocean going robots. Powered by the wind and the sun, this British line will face its toughest trial out in the Atlantic. Auto, I have control. Okay. Another British device harnesses the power of the waves. Starboard. Its designer says it's built for long endurance. Center. It'll go for a very long time, and that's what probably makes this different from all the other vessels, is its potential to go for really long periods. Meaning? Six months a year. Away we go then. Push forward. There we go. Never before have so many different robotic craft been launched into British waters at the same time. Robotic devices like this can operate on their own for weeks or even months, gathering data on everything from temperature to the fish. What this means is that we're now entering a new era of almost constant observation of the oceans, offering insights that have just never been possible before. The project will focus on what's called an ocean front, where warm water meets cooler water, and currents bring nutrients up towards the surface. That encourages plankton to flourish, which in turn attracts fish in huge numbers. And the robotic vehicles will help understand exactly how this process works. All of the scientists on the project are tremendously excited because we know that just one of these vehicles can go out and find out information on where dolphins and seabirds are feeding or what the weather's doing hundreds of miles offshore. So you can imagine in the future if we've got tens, maybe hundreds of these vehicles out there, they're going to be our eyes and ears in the ocean future. Until now, marine robots have been used by the military and the oil. The robots now face 300 miles of ocean over the next three weeks. This is a test and no one can be sure how it'll go. David Chuckman, BBC News, the Isles of Scilly.